They told me the favelas were full of drugs. safe medical detox. I was running the risk of becoming too clear-headed.
I couldn't find any clues in this place, so I decided to do my bit for the drugs trade. That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me. to hope the king was in his castle.
As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you? Okay. Don't you kill her! 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 Here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. I'll give you a minute, buddy. We'd only been married a short time. By now, she had been dead longer than I knew her. I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business, but I knew that was just grief. The insanity that comes with losing the life you had built. Michelle, I missed her with every part of my being. I hated the world for not killing me with her. And I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. Excuse me. Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. Sudden, I didn't need that time by myself. Passos was down the hill and I had to catch up to him. 